For kicks, I'm gonna try this radio brake just by itself. I've never shot something like this. Oh my God. Okay, so <laughs> it's really effective. There's hardly any recoil at all. Like it's, it's much higher in recoil control than that plus the can on top. But it is blasty as crazy. I mean, it's, oh. <laughs> I gotta hold this super loose so you can see. See that? I mean, I, I was barely holding it. It's just loose in my hand, not even up on my shoulder. That is an effective break. But you can feel it. This, it's a radial blast all over your body. <laughs> oh, I'd need to double up if I was gonna shoot that for any length of time. But that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> The LS1 brake is the most effective 308 brake I've ever shot, but it's also the most painful. There is no free lunch with this radial brake, but it's only one of three mounts that are included with the Liberty Sovereign 30 caliber silencer. I don't have it here because it's still at my range, which is my SOT waiting on my Form 4 to get back, but I did have a chance to visit it shoot it, see what it sounds like, and see what it did on paper. And that's what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. The Sovereign is Liberty Suppressor's idea of a silencer to bridge the needs of the hunter and the precision shooter. Its 30 caliber bore is rated to 300 wind mag, which is the upper limit of most common hunting and precision rifles. The tube and core are both grade 5 titanium, which combined with its overall length of only 7 and 1 8 inches makes the Sovereign a very light 12.7 ounces. Liberty chose aluminum for the user changeable front cap. 30 caliber comes standard with both a 5.56 and 6.5 front cap available separately. The Sovereign can mount either as a direct thread or via the included 5.8 x 24 LS1 radial brake. Both 5.8 x 24 and 1.5 by 28 thread adapters are also included, though all three mount to the Sovereign via the same taper lock system. This ensures consistent bore alignment and reputable point of impact when switching between the three. The mounts are nitrated stainless steel to prevent galling and are designed to add almost no length between the barrel and the can. Liberty also includes a custom Armageddon gear wrap to cut down on Mirage during long strings of fire. I've got a table full of fun to test with the Sovereign starting with my 700 SPS in 308 Winchester. That's got a really deep tone. Wow, I really like the tone on that. And uh, <laughs> you really can't feel it on the end of something like this. You know, I've got the bipod on there and everything else, but this is almost half the weight of most of my other 762 cans. Pretty even tone through all five shots. Not really a first round pop or anything like that. That's nice. This is the new Bergara HMR, stands for Hunter Match Rival. I just pulled this right out of the box. That's why it has no optic on it. This is 6.5 Creedmoor. I just want to see what this sounds like. I'm gonna say I love the trigger on this rifle and still has a really nice deep tone. So I think it's it's gonna be a good match for 6.5 Creedmoor as well. <laughs> Sounds great. That's fantastic. Okay, now for some 300 Blackout Subsonic. I'm leaving the suppressor wrap on. There's a little first round pop. It's not my quietest 300 blackout can. But very doable with no ears. And I'm, I'm pretty sensitive to 
the impulse of a gunshot, even suppressed. But what I do notice is it still has a very nice deep tone. I think a lot of manufacturers have realized that sounds better to the ear than a quieter, higher pitched can. So it's, it's very pleasant shooting, that's what I would call it. Okay, now for some 5.56, and I'm using my AirAct 21 from Fax and Firearms because I can turn the gas off and run this as a bolt gun so we don't get action noise. Again, very nice deep tone. There's always a bit of a crack from the bullet of 5.56 five, rounds going through the air. You, you can't make that quieter. But that's got a really nice deep tone on it. And the size and the weight, that would be a pretty decent 5.56 five, can. I really like the Sovereign sound, but I also want to see what it does to point of impact and group size. <laughs> Got dog training going on behind me now. If it's not a tractor or a chainsaw or a leaf blower, <laughs> but the the silencer sounds great. And maybe there's a small shift down. And I pulled that last one. I shanked that last one. Let's see how this screws with some hunting ammo, because that's kind of the point of this. That's fantastic. That's sub MOA with hunting ammo. And it sounds great. I like it. You can't even feel it on the end. I feel the bipod. That's a great hunting can and looks like to be a pretty decent precision rifle can too. I think that sounded great on 308, on 556. 6.5 Creedmoor, 300 Blackout, and that point of impact shift, that was insignificant. I wouldn't even worry about the change in zero going from the just the break to the can for hunting. And even precision rifle competition, that's about a quarter MOA. I would personally zero it with a can in place, but a quarter MOA is a kind of variation that you're going to see just from temperature changes that most shooters don't actually keep track of. So that's within the realm of error that a lot of guys already accept. So I'm, I'm really impressed with the can. It's MSRP is $1,050, which puts it priced with other premium 30 caliber cans, but you do get three mounts and a suppressor wrap for that. It's a natural question to ask, well, why doesn't Liberty just reduce the price and include only one mount, no wrap? I actually get that. I think that's a very good question, but the answer is, Liberty wanted to include one box that had everything that a hunter or precision shooter might want. If you want to learn more about the Liberty Sovereign, be sure to click the link in the video description below. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can see the links right here. And be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can see my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and hope to see you next time.